Hi guys, hope you all had a fabulous weekend. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a purple smoky eye. Today I will be using a tape to create the sharp line on the outer edge. This technique is new to me, although I have seen other artists using it quite often. So it's kind of an experiment and let's see how it goes. After I apply the tape, I'm creating a black base for my eyeshadows to stick and I'm using a black bourgeois curl pencil for this. You can be rough at this stage as we are going to blend the color afterwards. Don't forget to put the color on the waterline as well. Using a small eyeshadow brush, I'm blending the pencil so no sharp lines are visible. Next, I'm highlighting the brow bone with Benefit's High Beam and powdering it on top so eyeshadows would blend easier, kind of creating the smooth base. Now I'm applying a white eyeshadow from Kryolan on the inner corner of the eye. This will open my eyes more. The next eyeshadow is light purple from Kryolan and it's going on the center of the eyelid. Pat it on, don't swipe, as we're gonna blend it later with MAC 217 brush. Now we are moving on to the dark purple colors, both of them are from Makeup Forever and they are going on the outer corner of the eye. Pat the product on and wing it out towards the end of the eyeliner. Then gently blend the colors with MAC 217 brush. And now I'm applying a black pigment from Gosh on the outer corner of the eye, closer to the lash line, to create the depth. Pat the color on and gently blend it out. Using same brush, smudge black eyeshadow on the lower lash line as well. For more drama, I am going to apply Ilamasca pigment in Bigul. This is very beautiful, sparkly, diamond-like powder that goes beautifully on the brow bone and the inner corner of the eye. Ok, now it's time to take the tape off, as it started to become uncomfortable. And voila, the sharpest line you could wish for. Now onto the brows. Usual, my favorite sleek eye divine palette and small angled brush from MAC do the trick for me. Draw the lower line in the center of the eyebrow first, then drag it out and start to fill in the eyebrow and only then fiddle with the front part. For the lashes I am using Red Cherry eyelashes in number 415 and do a glue. So far my makeup looks like this, 
but we do need some foundation as well. So I'm applying Sleek's Cream to Powder in White Rose under the eyes. on the nose, in the center of the forehead and highlighting the brows under the nose and on the chin then with the same brush I'm applying a darker foundation under the cheekbones on the sides of the nose on the forehead near the hairline and under the jawline and with a clean blending brush I'm going to blend it all together just for a record this is not my usual technique but I do feel like experimenting today and it's really good for you to see different techniques as well So far looks good. Now we need to set it all with powder. I'm using MAC Translucent Powder and Real Techniques Blush Brush. For the lips I used MAC Pencil in Sync and MAC Lipstick in Viva Glam. I think nude lips are balancing strong eye makeup very well. For the blush I am using the Cryolens eyeshadow in Flamingo. On the highest points of the cheekbones I am going to use the Frost eyeshadow from Slick. And we are ready, I hope you like it. Last week I was attending a private event of Charlotte Tilbury's Cosmetics and I must say this lady has some outstanding products, so my next tutorial will be based around them. Do not forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.